Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Siege Refractor, also known as uh, Generation 1 Reflector. And as far as I know, this is the first Reflector tour we've ever gotten uh, where it's you know been designed to be Reflector from the start and has his proper camera mode. As you can see, I've got three of them. Uh, he goes at the deluxe price point for 20 bucks. You could pick him up on sale at some places for 18 if you're lucky. Uh, so three will run you, you know, um, around $60. Um, but with all three, you'll get the camera mode, which we'll talk about soon enough. First, uh, we want to take a look at this really cool spaceship mode. I like this a lot. Um, it's got its issues. My first one is that, uh, as you can see, there's a gap here. Um, this is a great ankle tilt on the robot mode. I wish there were tabs on the inside of this part to hook into here to kind of close that up nice and tight and uh, make sure that gap doesn't happen. Um, as is, it's still a really cool looking spaceship mode. You've got a cool bridge piece here, a faux bridge. Um, the All the kibble kind of, it's a little parts for me. There's, there's three parts. Uh, this piece, this piece, and this piece will all come off for transformation, um, but they managed to incorporate them pretty well. This is like a, an aft engine. This is some sort of shielding. And then if you got maybe like a big central ion cannon up front. Uh, as a fleet, I think they look really good. I really like the idea of these guys running escort on a leader class shockwave. Something like that, I think, looks really awesome. Uh, I love the idea. It's like a secondary gimmick the Decepticons have where a lot of them form a space fleet. These guys, the sound wave mold, I'm not going to pick up as sound wave, but I will pick up that black sound blaster. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to have my fleet together. And then I, I've shown you, I think, on the Shockwave review, I've got the Shock fleet. So I've got like a full on uh, Decepticon fleet uh, that I'm building up that I, I want to show some pictures of at the end of this, uh, which I will. Um, but just as little spaceships, I think if this was all they did and turn into robots, I'd be perfectly happy. But that's not all they do. So let's go ahead and take two of our buddies away. Since they are, you know, literally the exact same toy three times. Uh, and let's go ahead and get started on transforming one of these guys. So for transformation, like I said, it's a little parts for me. Take off his rear shield. That just pegs in up top take away his engine piece uh his toes here clip around the gun you can pop that guy out no problem so you've got those three bits of of accessories that you can move out of the way then we're going to come in on this bridge piece it hooks into his lower or his upper shins uh, you can hook that off and then fold that away Fold that in, and you've got that famous kind of what the, the reflector torso that we all know and love. Unhook his feet, pretty simple. Fold in his landing gear on each side. Turn the feet around a little bit, and then we're going to come in up top, pull his biceps out. Uh, the forearms clip into the back of his waist here, so we could just flip those out and then flip out his head and flip out his hands. Got to get our fingers in there. There we go. And there we've got the base deluxe reflector body mold. And he looks, I mean, like reflector, right? Or refractor, reflector. He looks really, really good. Oh, and actually I totally forgot. We want to flip his waist around to get that waist front. And then that flips his legs around and gives us that ankle tilt. There we go. Now we've got quite a good looking Decepticon Deluxe. And uh, I mean, he's super poseable as is. Like the transformation is really simple, which I really like that it's so effective and it doesn't like, it's intuitive. I, I haven't even looked at the instructions on this guy. Um, with his articulation, he's got a head turn. Uh, he's got a swivel. He also, because of the way his neck transforms, you can get some up and down. So you can kind of get him, you know, if he's talking up to Megatron or something, you can get that head tilt going up there like that. Looking down on some humans, you can get that going. Uh, with his arms, uh, the way his shoulders transform, you do get some additional butterfly jointage in that shoulder. Um, one other complaint I have, this is just maybe a sculpting thing or maybe it's a result of getting the camera mode in here. 
The elbow turns up at a weird joint. The elbow joint connects to the chest up here, but then it turns. You can see kind of at that lower level. I'm not sure why that had to be the way it is, except for maybe it helped with the camera mode. He's got great bicep curl as a result of his transformation. Um, I mean, it's a fully double jointed bicep right there. Um, his wrist, uh, it can, you know, go in and out a little bit due to transformation. That's, that's about all you're getting out of him. But then his legs are great. You know, they can do full splits. They can go forward, backward because he's got literally no backpack. There's no limitation there. Um, the knees, I really wish, um, back here, this plank maybe sank down a little bit. Um, to give him a little more knee curl. He gets you the 90 degrees. And with the, his little body, I think that's still pretty dynamic. And then, of course, he does have great ankle tilts like all these Siege figures do. And that's, again, it, it's maybe partially a result of transformation. Oh, and toe curl as a result of transformation. So he's got very poseable legs. He can get in some deep, you know, karate stances. I, I really dig uh, what he's able to pull off within what is, you know, basically a robot that kind of turns into a plank that they disguise as a spaceship and then turns into part of a camera. For his accessory pieces, um, they can go in a couple different locations. On this reflector, I'm going to put this camera piece uh, up front. Kind of that's, you know, the main guy had that shutter system up front. Give him his gun to hold in his hand. Or actually, we can put a gun on his forearm. Let's put a gun on his forearm. We'll go here on the forearm for whatever dumb reason, and then take this shield piece and also put that on a forearm. It pegs right in there. And you know, that's one possible configuration of reflector. If you wanted to, you know, you could do each one differently, put a gun on a shoulder, put the shield in his hand, put uh, the little camera piece, you know, on his butt to hide it. Um, or put the gun in his hand like normal and the shield on his shoulder. Um, he's got ports down here as well to put store stuff. Um, he's actually got pegs up here. So he can, as a result of their design intent behind Reflector, they can put stuff wherever. And I mean, these look like a great squad. Um, I'm excited about these. I might end up picking this mold up again if they redo it in toy colors as a box set. Because in the G1 cartoon, you know, there were... There was more than one reflector team. Same with the Seekers, actually. Here's the, the Siege Seeker mold as a robot. You can kind of see here's Deluxe, here's Voyager. Um, if you wanted to army build, like these are the troops that you would be army building for a Decepticon army, uh, which I really like that these are, you know, great spaceships for a Decepticon fleet and great troops for an army. I dig that a lot. Just a quick comparison to some other Deluxes. Here is their wave mate Brunt, which you can see is uh, sitting. Let's get them lined up. Brunt is sitting a bit bigger than Reflector, which I kind of like that these are a little smaller than the average Deluxe. Um, it, you know, it made me want to find them at a discount, but it makes me happy that they are at the scale that they are. And again, great toys. The only other Reflector toy I have, I was thinking about getting the Make Toys one for a while, but I didn't, is just um, the one that came with Scrapnel in like Combiner Wars or Generations or whatever it was. Um, that's really it. This is the first opportunity we've had since G1 to own Reflector. And I know for a lot of people, G1 Reflector was really, really hard to get their hands on. So um, this is an easy recommendation, uh, just as is. If this was all you we got for a Reflector, you had to spend 20 bucks to get this toy. I think that would be uh, still a great deal. But that, in fact, is not all we get if we buy three of them. So the last thing is the camera mode, which I believe is not in the instructions. I just took a quick look between takes to make sure. So I'm going to see if I can figure this out as I go along. So we'll start out by taking off all their weapons and parts. We're going to make a little pile of accessories up in front of us, leaving the bodies behind. And I'm hoping that the camera mode is just as intuitive and easy to do as the uh, robot mode to spaceship mode transformation. So let's start out with these guns. It looks like we can peg these guys in together. 
to make our tripod, uh, oh, other way around, nice and simple. That is a swirly peg, which has a peg here. Okay, so I'm assuming that is the tripod we will put our camera on. These two pieces we'll figure out later. Next is these shield pieces, which become our camera lens. which they can just slide in together. Okay, now, uh, what I know about the reflector mold, or what I know about reflector is basically these guys need to turn into boxes. So we're gonna see if we can do that. We'll flip a head behind, flip the arms behind, flip the hands in, and flip the arms up maybe. If we're folding them into a box, these pieces need to be out of the way. Uh, maybe you flip this around and flip him around. Yeah, flip the waist around, flip him around. Aha! Yeah, so this is super intuitive. Clip them all together, flip those in, and there is box one, and I'm gonna assume I need to do that three times. Flip that around, flip the arms back, flip hands in, hands up, hands up, flip the waist, legs out, Kind of snap the box together. There we go. One more. But yeah, so this is, oh, it's tough. I'm still super excited for Brunt. Um, Brunt looks great. Up until now, what was my favorite Siege Deluxe? My favorite Siege Deluxe was Six Gun. Um, I still love Six Gun, and I'm excited for Brunt for a lot of the same reasons as Six Gun. We get a mode that we didn't have before. In Brunt's case, we're getting a robot mode. In Six Gun's case, we're getting a, we got the alt mode. Um, but I mean, the fact that we just never had, I never had a reflector, I wasn't a G1 kid. Here's my opportunity to have a reflector and he looks so good and he's so intuitive and so fun. Um, I think reflector might be my favorite siege toy. Okay, so we've got our boxes. Um, Let's flip them around and... Okay, so the, nice and simple again. We've got pegs and we've got ports. We stick our boxes together. And to be fair, I think I did see Larkin's Lair do this mode. I watched his video of it, but that was a while ago because I, I got my toy much later than he did. Um, okay, then we've got ports here. Slide... Oop. Am I doing something wrong with that lens? No. Slide our camera, again, ports here and here. We've got tabs on the camera here and here. We just gotta clock it properly. And that slides in and look, this is reflector as a camera. Um, we can take our dialy bits, put one of them here one of them here for our camera controls. Flip that up, we got, you know, you got a little viewfinder. That's neat. And now, yeah, that's reflector as a camera. And he comes with a stand. And like that, <laughs> okay. The stand, I'm sure works great. I'm not gonna go chasing that piece right now. It fell off the table. Um, but, that is just terrific looking. I, and this is probably not even what I'm gonna display it as. This is just a nice feature. Like I said, if they do toy colors for a camera, I might display that as a camera or it, we could pretend it's some sort of battle system, like a, a combat platform. 
I love the spaceship mode already. I love the, um, the individual robot modes. This is just a great set. I love that, I mean, you could build this out as wide as you wanted. It kind of ties into the weaponizer ability a little bit. I'm excited to see how Brunt looks on these guys. Um, just a really easy recommendation. Really, really easy, really good toy, really good set of three. I recommend you find them. I think you can still get them on Hasbro Pulse. I think you can still get them on Amazon uh, for the $20. If you can find them on sale, it's even better, but e Refractor is an easy recommendation. Definitely, definitely add these guys to your collection.